Welcome everyone. Uh, recently I, I made this great acquisition of some vintage uh, art supplies and stationery, so I, I thought I would share that with you. My last video with this theme of uh, stationery it was a, a pencils unboxing. It was extremely popular, so I thought I would uh, give you guys more of the content that you love, so uh, that's my gift to you. So let's get right into it. So first off, I got this uh, package of Statler Lumograph um, pencils. Now these are interesting because they're actually a vintage from, I would say, the mid-90s or earlier. Um, uh, I have for comparison here a more modern uh, example of the Mars Lumograph. You can see a, a difference there. Now, uh, a couple things to note. The uh, the little head here, um, their symbol. I believe that's someone from Greek mythology or something like that. Um, the design of that is slightly different. Um, if it will focus, uh, very slightly different. And the first thing that really... Um, really clued me in that this was a more of a vintage piece was uh, the lack of a barcode here you can see on the more modern example so that's just uh, something interesting so got a few there's not a whole set but uh, we got a, a few good varieties um, some of the softer ones we got a 5b all the way up to an 8b here uh, extremely soft pencils and then um, as far as the harder ones all we have is actually we've got two two H pencils and then the F, which as you know is my favorite uh, pencil. It's slightly uh, slightly harder than an HB, uh, but still not, not too hard. All right, so that was my first, uh, first part of this acquisition. So next, um, I got this interesting, it's made by Statler again. It's a pencil sharpener going with their classic blue theme there. Now, uh, I got a bunch of these generals uh, pencils, different varieties here. So we've got a layout pencil. I'm not quite sure what that's for, some kind of graphic design. We've got a couple charcoal pencils. We've got a 4B and a 6B, quite soft again. Now something interesting to note here is again we've got uh, two different vintages of these pencils. As you can see, the General's logo on the top is uh, slightly more modern. That would date this one a little bit earlier, I would say. Something interesting to note, of course. And then we've got a couple of these uh, rectangular sketching pencils, uh, softer as well. We've got a 2B and a 6B there. Now, Generals, they're an American company, um, well known for their artists and uh, draftsmen supplies, draftsperson. Okay, next we have some examples from Derwent. They, as you know, are a British company. Now, we've got a couple interesting ones here. We've got some metallic uh, colored pencils, and we've got uh, two watercolor pencils uh, as well. So. As you know, you can draw with those and then use a brush with some water to um, create like a wash effect, like a watercolor painting. Okay, next, we've got a couple Stadler uh, colored pencils. Um, it doesn't really say uh, a name on there, just Stadler. Um, now these ones I kind of feel are maybe a bit of a lesser quality um, when you draw something. It just doesn't feel that great. Whereas with the, uh, the Derwent, they've got a really smooth, smooth feel to them. So I think these are maybe like an entry level, maybe a, a child's or a student's variety of uh, colored pencil. But uh, interesting, interesting to have in the collection, nevertheless. Okay, next, we've got a couple of uh, Eurocolor 
colored pencils by Brunzeel. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, um, but they're from Holland. Now these are a little bit nicer. Um, not quite so smooth as some other uh, colored pencils that I've tried in the past, but uh, definitely a step above these uh, Stadler ones that I tried out before. I've never actually seen this uh, variety of colored pencil um, in stores uh, in, my, in my entire uh, career. So that's interesting to have. Okay, next we've got a couple of uh, Lyra. Uh, they're a German uh, brand of colored pencil. These are called the Osiris. I got a couple uh, colors of these. Now these are interesting because they've got, I'm not sure if you can see, but they're kind of a triangular shape. I suppose that was to be uh, more ergonomic. Um, better feel in the hand and let's just give this one a try oh yeah yeah you know what this is probably the nicest feeling one so far even better than the derwin there very beautiful very beautiful to draw with okay here was another lyra this is just a a standard pencil a graphite pencil um, this is an h slightly higher um hardness than the F, which I like, uh, but it's a nice pencil as well. Okay, next here we've got a Sanford Very Thin uh, branded colored pencil. This one's interesting. It's got a, a metal end on there. Uh, this is an American brand. Um, doesn't have the greatest feel to it, but uh, not bad. I'd kind of place it around the same level as the, the Euro color there. Okay, so the next one I find is very interesting. This is a set of, uh, again, the very thin, but these are from a previous, uh, previous company that owned the brand of very thin barrel. Uh, it was transferred, um, the copyright was transferred to Sanford. Probably uh, around 2000 or so would be my guess that that happened. Now I got um, a package here of, uh, they're all the same, really. Uh, they're a, actually a black colored pencil. Um, quite stunning, the black with the gold and then the metal tip there. Quite lovely, I would say. Now I do believe I have one of these that are sharpened. Yes, I do. Why don't I give that one a test to see how it, uh, how it draws. How it feels actually you know what this is very very nice this is much nicer actually than the subsequent uh, uh, very thin uh, produced by Sanford actually it looks like the quality kind of went down uh, when they took over that's quite nice quite nice okay so let's just put this here okay and lastly I got a whole bunch of these colored pencils. These are called the Ticonderoga Corlock colored pencil. Now these are interesting. They also have a metal, a metal end on there. And uh, what makes them even more interesting, if you can see, the lead is actually in kind of a star shape. I guess that's supposed to... Um, keep it from, I, I, I don't know what they're afraid is going to happen. Maybe it rotates within the, uh, within the wood housing or something, and this is supposed to prevent that. Now these ones too, they're very smooth, very smooth. Really nice to draw with. Now I did notice, uh, I think it's a design flaw uh, with this uh, particular design is a lot of these the uh the lead had broke um within the uh within the pencil itself now uh i i tried to resharpen some of them and again i draw for a little bit and then the uh the lead would would break so i kind of have a feeling that this uh, star shaped lead it actually uh, makes it less um, structurally sound and uh, causes the breakage. So um, maybe this one uh, 
It was an interesting idea, but I guess it just didn't didn't pan out the way they'd intended. And yeah, I've never seen these uh, before. I'm guessing they were only on the market for a short period of time, probably due to that reason, um, just the uh, the quality issue uh, with the lead breakage. All right, so that was my vintage uh, stationary haul. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, always like the video, subscribe, um, follow me on all my social media platforms, Twitter, Tinder, um, Facebook, Insta, you know, I, I, I'm all over the place. I'm all over the internet. So uh, make sure you search me out, subscribe, uh, follow me wherever you can. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.